Hello and welcome to another Game Hub video. I'm Josh and uh, I wanted to give you guys an update on my uh, Pokemon Rumble World game. Uh, this is a free to play game um, and you can just go to the Nintendo eShop to download it. Um, as we can see, uh, well I've, I've been playing for about a week now and I have 124 Pokemon. I can hold 150, rank 20, has zero gems, about 26,000 pokey money or whatever. So, with this here, so I can only get 150 so far. Uh, I wanted to show you guys some of the, you know, free to play kind of features that is, uh, you know, pretty common with free to play games. So, you can go to extras. And you have to buy Pokemon houses. Uh, right now I have to pay four gems. Support power, that's new. Support power two enables you to take two Pokemon to someone else's castle. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, so let's see. You can buy clothes. A lot of the clothes is... Uh, Oh, that's the daily specials. See, a lot of things you can buy with the in-game money. And the diamonds are kind of what you gotta pay for, but you can earn them. This game is uh, pretty generous with giving you diamonds. Um, the stick works horribly on this game, so you want to use the D-pad. Um, I'll show you some of the prices for diamonds. I think it's pretty reasonable. Though I don't expect to ever buy anything for this game. Uh, I never do that with free-to-play games. Um, yeah, it has to connect to the internet real quick. Um, I guess in case prices change. Okay, so here's the prices. Apparently this is a limited time offer. For 50 gems is about 50 cents. 200 gems is about a dollar 79, and 200 gems can get you pretty far. So, you know the prices aren't too bad here. See, for a thousand gems, it's 10 bucks. It's really not too bad. The highest you could pay is 16. And I'll show you what. Uh, the main thing you'll want to buy is these hot air balloons because they let you go to uh, new stages uh, which will allow you to catch uh, more diverse Pokemon. So they're getting pretty pricey. They started out at about 20 gems, but now they're 30, 50, 70. And then as you can guess, white balloons, see? takes you to places where a lot of Pokemon from the Unova region appear. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, Diamond and Pearl region, Gold and Silver region. I already bought Silver. Um, so yeah, let's see the extras. Well, we already went there. Clothes, they have all kinds of different clothes. Very interesting. Uh, there's no gender bias with these clothes. A male me can wear female clothes and vice versa. Um, so <clears throat> they have backgrounds and frames, which is seen when you look at someone else's profile. Here's mine. And uh, you have your title there and your name and your little greeting, which you can customize. And then you can choose your partner Pokemon. I chose this guy. Don't really know his name. Or, you know, the Pokemon's name. And right now, uh, I recently caught Kyogre. But, uh, yeah, so you, here's my list of Pokemon. Uh, you can sort the list in any way you like. I usually, when I'm looking for a Pokemon to go into battle with, I pick the highest power. But some of their attacks aren't so great. You really want to pick one with a high power but also with an attack you're comfortable with using because different attacks are kind of for different play styles. I usually go with Kyogre here because he's pretty powerful. 
and uh, his attack is pretty great. So let's go into uh, one of the stages. And right here is where, you know, people from the internet show up. You can talk to them. And uh, once a day, they'll let you go to a certain area. Um, but once you go there once, if you want to return later, you have to pay one gem. But usually it's uh, 500 poke money uh, once a day. So right now, I haven't played for a while, and I can go into any of these regions. We're going to go into the silver region. And uh, there's this random thing that happens. And they select an area randomly. And there's all the Pokemon. Looks like I haven't caught any Pokemon in this region. So as you can see, Kyogre's attack is pretty great. Kind of just stand back and hit the A button. Now some Pokemon have a second attack assigned to the B button, but Kyogre does not, at least not this Kyogre. It's kind of random, uh, you know, you might catch a Kyogre that has two attacks, or has a completely different attack for the A button, but this is my Kyogre. And as you can see, it's pretty easy going through this game with him. Also, it looks like a lot of these Pokemon are weak to my water attack. And uh, you can also switch Pokemon uh, during the stage. You just hit the X button and you can look at your list here. Um, there is a little time limit and you could get damaged while switching Pokemon. So. You want to kind of run away from the battle and then switch and come back to it. Or else uh, a Pokemon could attack you in the middle of the switching process. Um, of course, when you hit X, everything's paused. But um, the moment you switch, I guess I'll show you. So I'm going to switch to this guy. And you'll see he has to sit there and wind up. Uh, during that time, I am vulnerable to attacks. So, you kind of want to run away from the battle when you do that. So here is the boss Pokemon. So far I didn't really catch much. I think I caught two things. So, and this is interesting. When you get to the boss, you can kind of grind a little bit for, for money. Uh, just keep circling around and uh, defeating his little minions. And uh, let's see if I can catch a Zubat. There's one. I think it's kind of random, uh, you know, Pokemon will either drop coins, or they will drop themselves, and then you can capture them. Okay, confusion, darn it. Confusion is tough. It, it messes with uh, the control stick. The control stick's kind of backwards, and then it'll change on you. Um, there was one more thing I was going to say here. Um... Hmm. Cannot, cannot remember. Oh yeah, the coins. You don't really need to pick them up, it seems. It seems that they'll still register um, as long as you see them on the ground. And I'm sure as long as you don't exit the area, um, you'll still get those coins. You don't really have to pick them up, which is kind of another feature of a lot of phone games you'll notice. Either pick up the coins or just just let them collect. Um, I usually pick them up because I don't know. I'm paranoid and I want to make sure I get get my money. So got another Zubat, Turbo Zubat. That's another thing. Different Pokemon have different natures, and uh, that gives them extra abilities. I'm sure some of them have. Uh, you know, you might have the same Pokemon but with a different nature. Uh, they'll have different abilities, like they might be able to run faster, or maybe attack at a more rapid pace. 
Um, looks like I just got gold bat, which is really great. Um, so next time I enter this area, I'll only have to worry about these small guys. But sometimes the boss Pokemon will be different. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty glad I got that gold bat. So, and here's where they show you all the Pokemon you got. See, new, some of them are newly captured. And uh, what I usually do is you, because you'll have a lot of extra Pokemon. And uh, you can go over your cap, but they won't let you jump on the hot air balloon if you're over the cap. So my cap's 150, I only have 134 right now, so I could just keep going in and collecting more. But what I like to do is get rid of my extras. Um, right now, I'm not really keeping Pokemon based on their natures. I'm keeping them based on their power. And as you can see, I sorted them by how many I have. So the most, the number that I have most will be at the top of the list. And I kind of just check them off here. Because, uh, oh, and I didn't say, but when... I first got to this menu, I selected say goodbye to Pokemon. Um, but yeah, you might want to save certain Pokemon's natures because I hear that uh, later in the game you can uh, sort of swap natures between Pokemon. But I play this game so much that I don't mind. Like when I get there, I'll get there and maybe I'll keep certain natures to, to swap. But right now, I'm just getting getting rid of the trash, really. Uh, I just want one of each Pokemon. So once you say goodbye, you get about 10 coins per Pokemon. So, you know, that's how you can make more money. And uh, that's about it for this video. I try to make these videos about 10 minutes. We're going on about 12 right now. Um, in my next video, I will show you what you do here which is sort of the missions, they call them King's Requests. Um, so he's saying, if you bring three more Pokemon species, you will reach rank 21. And when you rank up, that gives you uh, more things to buy in the shop. And some things you can buy are pretty useful, like you can have greater attack power, um, greater speed is useful, and uh, things like uh, a vacuum type of thing which basically just upgrades uh how far you can be away from the coins uh and they'll they'll sort of gather towards you um but yeah so like the king's request these are kind of like the little achievements and little missions and uh you know you gotta do different things sometimes you have to protect a pokemon sometimes you just go to a room where Pokemon just keep spawning like hordes of Pokemon until you defeat the final one. And they usually have a time limit on those. And for every Pokemon you defeat, it drops a little clock and you will uh, get more time. But I'll show you guys that in the next video. Um, so thank you for watching.